This is our Forex blog for October 21st, 2014. Uh, I haven't been doing these that often because I'm focused on trading and improving our trading signals. Uh, I'll briefly show you those first and we'll get into uh, how to use some of our other tools. You can see the last two days, the euro dollar yesterday had a nice buy here, it went up, out here it went up. Uh, this uh, pullback here, uh, nice win. Uh, bought right here at 21 and pretty much broke even on that trade. Sold the double top up here at 35 and rode it all the way down here to 58 for a huge win. Got short on the next pullback in this one and then a very tiny or break even trade there. The pound didn't do so well today. It didn't really lose much, but uh, it was very choppy and not very trend oriented so um, you know it's good to show how currencies that don't really pay off that much do had a very small loss right here went long right here and had a loss so you can see small win loss and then nothing here's the euro yen did very well today and the key to trading is small losses big wins by the way uh, here is the initial risk, and here is how much you made. You made four or five times more profit than what the risk is. We went short, and then made a decent amount on that trade. You know, and if you were down a little, a few measly pips in the pound, uh, you got it back in the euro yen in spades. So, small risk, bigger win. Small risk, uh, about the same size win and then we're short right here and you can see the stops pulling down tighter uh, it's either gonna pull back and move the stop to break even pretty soon or we're gonna get stopped out with the, the only loss of the day in the uh, euro yen and here's uh, the pound yen I'm just gonna focus on these four currencies uh, you can see yesterday uh, small win loss Pretty much broke even loss. Uh, those losses yesterday were returned today. Much bigger win, much bigger win, pretty much break even. And you know, when it, there's a new trend like this, you know, I require a decent pullback to get in. And there was, you know, just shallow pullbacks. So shallow pullbacks tend to, you know, be losers. So, you know, I have very strict rules. Most of the new patterns I create have uh, 25 to 35. Uh, rules. So you can see those four currencies, probably 60% winning overall, mostly because of currencies that had bad days, you know, just have very tiny uh, losses. Now, th these are our currency indexes, which if you use these in combination with our uh, FX trade signals, you're going to do very well because it lets you see what the currency's trend is. You can see the dollar is underneath its hourly moving average. Pulls back up, can't get above it. It's very likely to resume the downtrend. The daily trend's down, weekly trend's down, and the monthly trend is just slightly up. So you're looking to sell it, and you want to uh, sell it against a, a currency that's strong. For instance, uh, the yen broke out last night, pulled back, 50% pullback. It's likely to resume its uptrend. Uh, I'll just bring up a five-minute chart of the dollar yen. But early today, the dollar yen is very likely to go down. Weak dollar, strong yen. Uh, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist uh, to trade these. You can see last night had a uh, you know, the, the high the trend line got broken, pulled back, re remained below the 50% retracement. So uh, you know it, it pulled back, came down, pulled back again. You have a little double top here at what appears approximately the 50% retracement. Aggressive traders might have gone short there with a very tight stop, or if you wanted to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, and sell the breakdown here. You could have gotten short right here with your stop real, real tight here, and there's another good short right there, and again right here. The farther down it goes, first wave down, second wave down, third wave down. It tried to go lower, didn't, you know, make a lower low. Every time it makes a lower low, you want to keep looking to trade with the trend. I'll do one more uh, example with the currency index. You can see the Australian and the New Zealand 
Uh, both are in an uptrend, so weak dollar, strong Aussie in New Zealand. Um, if you're looking to buy these. So New Zealand went up, by the pullback, went up, by the pullback, went up a little bit. You know, the, the force was to the upside. So, uh, and you're always going to do better on, on something like a range chart where it lets you uh, see a certain number of pips per bar. You can have tighter stops uh, with less risk. You can buy the breakout here with your stop underneath here, move it to break even pretty quick. Didn't go up that much. And again, I always tend to wait for a little bit deeper pullback. If you buy a little pullback right here, guess what? You have a loss. You wait a little bit uh, for a deeper pullback into this uh, range right here. You can have your stop underneath here. Very quickly move it back to break even. It went up 15 pips. Uh, this came down again to the low back here. Decent pullback. You get in. Very tight. Uh, risk, even though that trade really didn't pan out, you have uh, the potential of bigger profit than what the risk is. Here you have a nice little double bottom right here. So, you know, the risk reward is off the charts when you trade uh, a strong currency versus a, a weak one. Here's the New Zealand dollar. And again, earlier in the day, you're looking for buys. And when you focus on a currency that's strong uh, versus one that's weak, and you get a breakout right here. Let's say you took this breakout here and you put your stop a little bit underneath here. Oh, well, you had a little, little bit of a loss. Comes back up again. Uh, you buy the breakout right here. You put your stop real close. And guess what? You have a huge win in comparison to your risk. And you know you lost a very tiny amount. So you can uh, cross that off. Right? This is what you lost on the first trade. And you're left. Uh, with on two trades as much profit, 10, 20, 30 pips. And that's the secret to trading. Uh, one of the things that I do with my automated systems using the same FX trade signals I release, uh, if I have a losing trade on the next trade, I bet uh, 1.25 uh, times. So if I do one lot, for instance, on the first trade and lose, let's say six pips, I'll do 1.25 uh, pips on the second one. And if I lose again, I do uh, 1.5 uh, lots on the third one. Uh, and that also, uh, you're going to frequently get big wins. And if you have two or three losses in a row, you actually make more, uh, ultimately, when you get these 30 or 40 pip moves, um, because you have a much bigger position, that gets back all the tiny losses you had on smaller positions. And, you know, you start over with your, your size. That's what I personally do, and I'm just... I mean, it, it makes trading for me absolutely stress-free uh, because I take a lot of trades every day, and you know, uh, if there are a series of um, losing trades in a row, then you know, one nice trade can get it back. Or sometimes you only make ten pips on a bigger position. Well, then I uh, scale back. If I do one lot, then one point two five lots, then one point five lot, and I have a very tiny win, I'll go from one point five lots back to one point two five, and not. Uh, and reduce my risk a little bit. So that's how I do it. And it's just absolutely unbelievable. Uh, it's nice to just, in a very small way, increase your lots. You know, not nothing uh, radical like going from one lots to two lots to three lots to four lots to five. You know, then if you have a series of four or five losses in a row, which can happen, doesn't happen that often, especially when you use our currency indexes along with our uh, trade signals. But if you did something aggressive like that, or you know you had a loss, you double your position. You have another loss, you double your position. Then you you went from a, you know a few tiny losses into monstrous losses. So um, I highly recommend that for experienced traders that use our tools uh, along with their own methods uh, of trading and have you know profitable trading to begin with uh, that can enhance it and uh, allow you to have much bigger winning weeks.